the Bengals open the Marvin Lewis era at Camp Georgetown today. Somehow, they're the city's stable sports franchise all of a sudden. And the preseason opener against the New York Jets, folks, now just 13 days away. Plenty of rain made things slippery for the first of two a days. Full offensive and defensive schemes already installed. Made day one more of an up tempo than in past years. Better late than never for Corey Dillon. He's in camp, in shape, and perhaps soon to be a little lighter in the wallet. I'm not scared. If they go find me, fine. You quit talking about it. Do it. You get it over with and let's move on. I'm not really, it's not like I'm going to be missing 5,000 anyway. 5,000, okay. Big deal, find me, and let's keep moving. Five grand, no big deal for Corey That'd Dillon, nice right? nice to say, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We have to tell you one injury note. Matt Schobel strains a hamstring. He's going to be out a week. Bengals also pick up local lineman Alex Sulstead off the waiver wires. Of course, he played at CCD in Marymount before going to Miami of Ohio. He was also in the Bengals' 2001 practice squad. Be nice to see him there. Yes. Thanks. Right, we'll be right back. And then there was one. As in the Bengals draft pick holdout, third rounder Kelly Washington remains unsigned, but second round starting offensive guard Eric Steinbach ended his two-day holdout, signing a four-year deal, another $2.2 million in potential incentives to offset that lack of signing bonus. Bengals also picked up another lineman off the waiver wire, Noah Schwartz, who played for Toledo, was let go by the Cowboys. This ain't your daddy's Bengals camp anymore, folks. Well, actually, maybe it is more like Paul Brown's training camp because the hitting has started. Full pads, and the players now know they will be sore every day from now until January. Marvin Lewis plans to change the way players are thinking. And I think Marvin trying to get a, a feel for what everybody as far as the defense can go. Like he said, tackling and blocking comes along the line. And, you know, the pass catching and running the ball is, is kind of there. We got established that throughout our mini camp. But now I guess this step two, tackling and blocking, being able to maintain, you know, those type of things. If you're drinking the Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid's a little stronger this year. <laughs> Bengals are trying to change the attitude and make it a winning team. So Good. it's, it's going to be interesting this Might week. Might be fun. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Right. We'll be right back make their first training camp cut and tackle Gary Johnson. Still no progress on signing third rounder Kelly Washington, represented by an agent who's never done an NFL deal. Miami head coach Terry Hefner and Heisman hopeful Ben Roethlisberger taken in Bengals camp this morning. Lewis turning fans' heads with his up-tempo camp, trying to simulate game week already and impressing on his vets the amount of hitting that is already involved. Scrimmage on Friday, mock game on Saturday. More in just a moment. Welcome to the Friday Night Final. I'm Harvey Smilovitz. Just want everyone to know I have cleared waivers and accepted salary arbitration. Certainly glad to have survived the media trading deadline after all. Now, as July turns to August, we shift from the diamond to the gridiron. The public gets its first look at Marvin Lewis's 2003 Bengals, as well as number one pick Carson Palmer in tonight's intra-squad scrimmage at training camp. Let's go to Georgetown. Perfect evening for football as the Bengals' offense takes on the defense. Fans like what they see, like Corey Dillon playing in his first scrimmage in at least three years, runs for nine yards, plus two catchers. Starter John Kitna completes six of eight passes, 46 yards, and one touchdown as he finds Brandon Bennett for this three-yard scoring pass. Now top draft pick Carson Palmer with 8 of 14, 62 yards, showing a lot of poise, hitting Sean Brewer as the tight end is all pumped up for a big season. Oh, yeah, you tell him, Sean. But Palmer with one mistake tonight, throwing an end zone interception to Juwan Armour. That was the only turnover of the night. Surprisingly, the offense playing way ahead of the defense. Must be the hard work in minicamp paying off. Former UC running back Ray Jackson running large, five carries, 19 yards, trying to earn his roster spot. And we even get a look at quarterback Shane Matthews as he hooks up with rookie free agent wide receiver Adam Zeisel. This is a nice 14-yard touchdown pass. Nice catch. Matthews 4 or 5, 43 yards. Palmer makes sure every quarterback has a scoring play as he connects with Brewer, who is the leading receiver. Brewer, four catches, 39 yards. Gotta love the discipline on this team. Every player told and stuck around to sign autographs. Yeah, I felt good. I, I felt comfortable and confident, and, and uh, I feel good with the plays and, and starting to get more and more comfortable picking up blitzes and stuff like that, but still definitely have a long way to go. Everybody knows offense. Kid is at the helm already. I mean, it's our third year into the, uh, Coach McCaffrey's offense. All it is out there, just going out there, handling your assignments, you know, from the lineman to the running back to the receiver, just catching the ball, making plays. Did you walk into this saying, I know in this scrimmage, in this mock game, I have to make some plays and, and, and show them something? Definitely. I mean, not just the scrimmage. I mean, it started on Monday. You know, every day I got to come out here and prove that, uh, you know, I, I am what they thought I was when they drafted me and do it day in and day out. Now, following the scrimmage, the man who called the game on the radio, the voice of the Bengals, Brad Johansson, went one-on-one -on -one with Bengals starting quarterback, John Kitna. 
Well, for the first time, the offense definitely outshone the defense, first time in a lot of years. Execution, what, what else do you attribute it to? Well, I know, you know, for us, we've been in the system three years as an offense. Defense learned a new system this year. You know, so a lot of that's new for them, and they're they're working on things. I mean, we've we've been running these plays for three years now, and you know, up until this year, Coach Bow had been a defense coordinator here for a long time, and so they were all accustomed to their defense, and we were learning. So, you know, I, I think that that's the main thing right now. Everybody talks about attitude needing to change. Your attitude certainly hasn't changed. Has the team attitude changed now? Well, you know, I think the the true test is going to come when we run into some adversity. When we, when we run into some adversity and we get down early in the game, it may happen the first game of the season. We might come out all pumped up in the first quarter, and all of a sudden they score two quick touchdowns, and we're down 14 nothing. How do we respond from that? That's the true test. And how much, test. how much has Marvin Lewis made a difference in what this team is doing right now and how crisp they look in the first scrimmage? Uh, I think, you know, just the professionalism of how things were run out here today. There wasn't a lot of penalties. There was, you know, it was crisp. The kicks look good. People fielded the kicks correctly. There wasn't any false starts and things like that. Those are the things that you're looking for in the first scrimmage. Congratulations. Mock game tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Little love shack, baby. We'll send it back to you, Harvey. Bengals now. Marvin Lewis may have his entire team in training camp on Monday. The lone holdout, third-round pick Kelly Washington, is very close to signing a deal. His agent says should be done in 24 to 48 hours. Now let's go to Georgetown. Today's mock game, matching the starters against the reserves, big mismatch. John Kitten having a good scrimmage last night. Today hooks up with his main target, Chad Johnson. Should be a dangerous combo this season. Rookie Carson Palmer struggles today. Completes just seven of 18 for 51 yards. Picked off by Jeff Burris. And that draws a little smile from the head coach. And Peter Warwick was the man today. As Shane Matthews connects with the wide receiver, racking up 154 yards on six catches. His first of two TDs. Now for Warwick's second score, Kitna bombs away to P-Dub. And if you're keeping score, the starters breeze to a 66-17 victory. Today is, a, is a, as again, one more time is for the coaches to get through the logistics, our team to get through the, the logistics of playing a football game. And, uh, and that's what this is all about. It's got nothing to do with uh, going out there running into each other. We don't play against each other. We play against the other teams. It's just a matter of coming out and correcting the things that we did wrong last night. And that's what, um, you know, that's what playing football at this level is about. You're going to make mistakes, but it's how you respond to them and how you correct them and how fast can you get those things done. First, everyone is signed and accounted for. The Bengals today, Inc. rookie wide receiver Kelly Washington to a three-year deal. He's the team's third-round draft selection and the last player to sign. Washington is at training camp in Georgetown, expected to join workouts tomorrow. Now, thus far at camp, the Bengals' offense has performed well without Washington. Shane Matthews has been sharp, but there's no con quarterback controversy, allowing starter John Kitna to get in some reps and expand the passing game. And that includes reestablishing a connection with dynamic receiver Peter Warwick. Well, we have not been sloppy. In other words, there's not a lot of false starts, not a lot of penalties. Uh, we have had some consistent play up front by the offensive line. I would bet that our completion percentage with the quarterbacks and receivers has been fairly high. So uh, I think those are some things that, that uh, we're, we're saying that are, that are good, but we have to still improve. But the offense as a whole, you know, we drive it down every time going against our defense. It's just, it's just great to see our offense just clicking. You know, it's about time that we just start winning some games. That's what it boils down to, just winning games. Now let's take you inside training camp. I mean, really inside the lines. As 12 Sports gives you an exclusive look at Marvin Lewis, Wired for Sound. Here we go. Let's go. Good day today now. A little short yard is goal line work today. Need a few good men. Real nice. 73 and 73. Well, that's good. Humidity's gone up. Temperature's come down, humidity's gone up. See, our theory on spilling, if I spill it with the mic, mm -hmm. I take away the cutback. Yes, yes. I, if I penetrate and do it right, I take away the cutback. Flushing the game, out a way to talk. Every time, no one's in the huddle, no our adjustments. Rogers, Rogers, every time you stick that hand up, I throw my flag. Every time, run with that elbow. Get that elbow running. Don't stick it out. It's the opposite of that. Exactly the opposite. Come on, guys. We've got to transition smoother through the turn. That's why you're doing this drill at half speed. You're going to have either Brian or the safety sitting inside of you. Okay? With so you on that, solid on that last play. Yeah. yeah. In that case, it'll be Brian because it's, he's over. On the 22. Uh huh. Come in. I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I got a spill technique. You don't have a spill technique when the ball's going outside. Who are you spilling it to? 
You're just giving yourself up. You ain't spilling it. You're just running underneath. Spill it means I take that guy and walk his ass back and get two. You don't got two. You didn't get two guys, did you? You got one. He got you. Juwan, Juwan, don't wait. Go. Play for loss. You know what to do. <laughs> this is totally the offense. The quarterback's got one guy. He's looking at him the whole way. There is nobody else. It doesn't matter. So as good as you can get in this drill, it transferred to 11 on 11. Are you having a comeback tour today, or are you going to be like the Isley brothers and just fade away? Huh? I work. I give everybody work every day. All right. Well, let's go. Let's pick it up. The things you want to do, you can't do like that every other play. Uplift yourself. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. Let's go. Give yourself a chance. Hopefully, Marvin fired you up to pick up the phone because it's time for you to make the call. We asked this question earlier in the week, but we want the sports fans' take. Who will make the playoffs first, the Bengals or the Reds? The Reds have played well since the deadline deals. Call 345-1212 right now. Your vote matters. We'll have here, Cincinnati starts talking about how much better the Bengals are going to be this year. This week, Bengal fans are praying that Marvin Lewis will finally make it so. Off to New York on Sunday. Today, he cut two more in defensive end Noah Happy and wide receiver James Atkinson. And then he welcomed his third-round pick, Kelly Washington, who ended his holdout last night. Speed receiver from Tennessee signs a three-year deal to concentrate on the NFL after college and a stint in minor league baseball. I just continue to work hard and, and really uh, gel with the guys and knowing that um, just get across to them that, you know, it is a, a process and I'm just going to be, I'm out here working and, and going to go out here and, and do my best. And don't forget Channel 12 is your home for a complete Bengals coverage throughout the 2003 regular season and preseason begins on Sunday. Bengals travel to the Meadowlands to meet the New York Jets kickoff set for 1 p.m. Dave Lapham and I will have your radio call on 1360 Homer and 92.5 The Fox. Home officials plan to meet with Georgetown College administrators about extending the training camp contract. Both sides appear to be ready to continue the deal as long as Marvin Lewis thinks it works. And so far, he likes what he has to work with, especially since his new speed receiver, Kelly Washington, is catching TD passes today. Lewis trying to give this team what it needs to win right away. Well, I think you have the people, but then we have to adjust what we do to our people. And I think that's most important. We have to be, we have to put our players in the most productive situations we can put them in. And, uh, and that's what the season is all about. That's how teams win and lose. And they say, well, these guys don't seem to be that good of a team on paper, but they do the best job of giving their guys an opportunity to be successful. It is the Bengals and Jets in an afternoon affair, Sunday at 1, right here on Channel 12. I'll bring you the radio call with Lap on 1360 Homer and 92.5. Evan Lewis added Stephen F. Austin receiver Lawrence Hamilton, who was waived by the Cardinals. Hamilton had 13 TDs, 1,600 yards as a senior. Corey Dillon, who fought the stomach flu in the morning practice, came back and put the pads on for the evening session tonight in Georgetown. The defense this year is going to be led by number 51, a middle linebacker. That's the same, except that it's not Keo Spikes, it's Kevin Hardy. Pro Bowler has been nursing his knees since minicamp, but he says, knock on wood. His stilts are still strong. They ain't holding up pretty good. Um, you know, the thing about it is, you know, you know, this camp has been pretty physical and it's, and it's been pretty intense. I mean, you know, back to back, you know, practices and full pads and and uh, you know, good thing is I'm holding up good and, and, and continue to press on and, and, and just hopefully just getting better. Bengals and Jets right here, Channel 12, Sunday at 1. Lap and I will bring you the radio call from the Meadowlands on 1360 Homer and 92.5.